I actually interviewed George Church, who some say is the father of uh, modern genomics, and he has been working, and he made a good case for it, on bringing back the woolly mammoth. It's not like to create a Jurassic Park. It's to actually preserve the permafrost in the in the Arctic. So his point was that the permafrost uh, holds a lot of carbon dioxide. Uh, it's, it's frozen in there. And as it melts, of course, it's released into the air and causes greenhouse. It's a greenhouse gas, causes greenhouse effects. He says that it's been trapped there to some degree because they had giant mammals thousands and thousands of years ago that would stomp it down. But with the extinction of these giant mammals, it's not getting, you know, compressed and com combined with climate change is going to propose a real problem. Church is working with a company to try to recreate the woolly mammoth, not because it would be cool, although it would be cool, but because they want to repopulate that Arctic area to protect it, to protect but the we permafrost. Don't, we don't need woolly mammoths to, to pound down that ice. Just send me and the population of Springfield, <laughs> Missouri. Just do a quick run. It's all good. <sighs> Uh, okay. Anyway, I mean, there's been a lot of uh, mocking of this, uh, you know, dire wolf. And even I've even yes. seen people mocking the woolly mammoth.